All right, so this is the frozen hole I came back to. It looks like I got a item coming to light right there. Okay, Andrew Benson here. I'm at a 5th Infantry Camp. This camp dates from about 1858 to about the early 1860s. And so, gonna be using the GPX today. The ground is a little frozen. Um, I've absolutely pounded this place with the Equinox, so I don't think there's much in, left in reach of that. So that's why I've got the GPX today, but we're gonna give it a go for a couple hours, see if we can dig and see what we can find. So I'll be back with the first target. Yep, the ground's pretty frozen. The big blue shovel's having a hard time even go through the first couple inches, but we'll keep going, see if we can dig. All right, so the strategy I've kind of come up with is uh, take a little dirt off the top and let it sit in the sun and then come back and, and try to dig it up. So that's what I've done here. I'll try to open this hole up now. All right, I've already tried it. I already kind of cleaned this off, but this is kind of cool. I didn't really know what it was, um, but what I think that is is a game piece um, soldiers would have made. It's, it's lead, so like a checker or something like that that they would have played games with while they were sitting, you know, doing nothing in camp. So that's pretty cool. I always like finding that carved, carved bullets, game pieces, stuff like that. They're pretty cool. All right, got a signal here in the bottom of this hole. Come in right there. Take a little more dirt out, see what we got. All right, so there it is. Possibly part of a shoulder scale, maybe? It's brass, that's for sure. Looks like it's got a hinge part of that side, slot on that side. Not exactly sure it went, what it went to. Okay, uh, next signal. Piece of brass was right there. Got another one out in the hole here. It's like a large, large pewter button. Getting that in light. So it looks like it's a large pewter button. That's pretty neat. I think there's still something in the hole, so we'll try that out, see what we got. Okay, so over here at the hole, still something in there. Feel like I'm moving it around. It must be right there someplace. A uh, piece of uh, piece of camp lead. So two things in one hole. Not bad. Okay, got a heart here in the bottom of the hole right there. Let's see if we can get it out live here. It's right there. Looks like an old, possibly a shotgun shell. That's too bad. All right, so this is the frozen hole I came back to. It looks like I got a item coming to light right there. Some sort of piece of brass. Oh, that's, that was probably part of a J-hook. Yeah, I think that's what that was, part of a J-hook. So I don't know where the rest of it went. Uh, but, anyway, nice find. Alright, got something out of the bottom of this hole, uh, at least nine inches deep. It's up in the pile now. Right there, it looks like. It's a bullet. Possibly fired. I don't know, this is inside the fort, but it's been hit with something or smashed or a number of other things. But anyway, pretty cool. Well, I just went over the hole and pile. Still got a signal. And there is another bullet. That one's definitely dropped. Nothing wrong with that. So let's see, get that in the light. Two bullets in one hole, nice. I believe that's a 58. It's either a 58 or a 54. I have a hard time telling them unless I get them up against each other. All right, well, I decided to call it a day. Uh, the ground's just too frozen. I got a few things out, and it was a fun couple of hours, but let me show you what I got here. So, ended up with a uh, few things. Got two, two bullets, a uh, couple of round balls. Those are probably buck and ball. I think this was a J-hook. I think that went to it. Got the game piece. Um, that's another round ball and another, I think that's a P-cap. 
and then a couple underwear buttons small and big so not too bad of a couple hours so that will be it for today i'll see you next time